Hello everyone, here is our latest video update on uh, Typhoon Hagupit, also known as uh, Bagyong Ruby, moving across the Philippine Sea on this uh, Thursday afternoon. Again, all eyes are on this uh, really strong and powerful uh, cyclone as it moves west-northwestward, potentially threatening the parts of uh, parts of Visayas uh, this weekend out here in central Philippines. Uh, the system was last located approximately 430 kilometers north northwest of the island of Palau or about 740 kilometers east-northeast of the city of Surigao, del Nor uh, Surigao City out here in northern Mindanao. Uh, the system is rapidly intensified uh, from, uh, from yesterday after it uh, made an hour replacement cycle. According to the latest uh, JMA analysis, winds are now at 215 km per hour with gusts of up to 305 km per hour. Uh, meanwhile, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's uh, higher wind estimates putting Hagupit at 285 km per hour with gusts of up to 350, making it a Category 5 Super Typhoon on uh, the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center scale. Again, the system is currently moving west-northwestward at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour, uh, moving quite fast over the past uh, three, four days, but is uh, forecast to slow down over the next 24 to 48 hours as it encounters uh, weakening uh, steering mechanisms out here in the Philippine Sea. Um, you can see in this latest uh, visible satellite image, one of the last images before the sun sets out here in the region, you can see that very uh, small eye uh, very menacing eye out here and uh, surrounded by uh, strong and deep convective activity again also showing really good uh, radial outflow uh, those clouds aloft providing uh, exhaust mechanism to the system um, and you can also see the relation to the Philippine Islands still about 24 uh, about 48 hours away from uh, the expected uh, direct impacts from the system but uh, outer bands could start impacting parts of the islands over the next uh, 12 uh, hours. And looking back at the animated satellite loop, again, you can see that small eye moving slow, uh, moving west-northwestward again, uh, possibly impacting parts of the Philippines. Uh, high cirrus clouds are already moving into parts of Visayas and northern Mindanao. And again, we expect those outer rain bands to... Uh, begin affecting the region over the next 12 hours possibly by tonight we could see some uh, light rain start to be f uh, to be seen and observed across parts of eastern uh, Visayas now the big question obviously and the question that we've been asking pretty much over the next uh, over the past two to three days is the eventual track of Hagupit and right now we are still unfortunately uh, seeing some widely varying um, uh, uh, results from the computer model runs that we have been using. Uh, some of them, again, are taking Hagupit uh, northward, possibly recurving away from the Philippines, which would be uh, the uh, best case scenario. Meanwhile, some of the computer models are taking Hagupit westward, possibly directly towards uh, the Visayas region, particularly one of the models um, is the European model, which have been performing uh, moderately well uh, in terms of tropical cyclone forecasting in the region. Uh, certainly one of the uh, better ones out there, and that model has consistently been showing a westward track, again, towards the islands of Samar and Leyte uh, by this weekend. Um, and so the consensus so the two camps that we have uh, seeing are the northerly track and the westerly track. Now that depends uh, on the strength of the subtropical ridge and also the mid-latitude trough um, that is moving across eastern China and into uh, eastern Asia. That will weaken the high pressure uh, area located over the Pacific. Um, now, how weak the high pressure ridge will get, unfortunately, is still unknown at this point, and that's and uh, we may not have a uh, have a clear consensus until uh, prob possibly another 24 hours from now, as we get more uh, data 
uh, and we get uh, more um, consensus among the computer models. Uh, for right now, the uh, forecasts, obviously, from the official agencies are what we are going to follow. And uh, we begin um, with the uh, Japan uh, Meteorological Agency. And I want to stress this out that this uh, forecast from the JMA have uh, has been consistently to the west as well, favoring more the European model that I've discussed earlier, again, taking Hagupit westward, possibly towards the islands of Samar and Leyte by uh, Saturday morning and into Sunday. Also, JMA forecasting this to remain a violent typhoon all throughout before landfall, and then moving across central uh, parts of Visayas, the islands of Cebu, um, Negros, and Panay, before moving into um, uh, the South China Sea or the West Philippines. Likewise, Pagasa has uh, shown a pretty similar track to that of the JMA forecast that we've shown earlier, um, taking Hagupit generally west-northwestward, although the track from Pagasa is a little uh, slightly north, uh, taking Hagupit towards the island of Samar, perhaps making landfall in eastern Samar as you move into Saturday morning. Again, also taking uh, the system uh, westward, perhaps moving near the islands of Masbate uh, and into the islands of Romblon and Mandoro before moving into the West Philippines here, the South China Sea, by early next week. And finally, we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, which has, has conversely uh, remained on the more northerly uh, consensus, uh, taking uh, Hagupit away from Visayas, uh, turning north, and then curving back eastward, perhaps affecting parts of central Luzon as you move into Monday and Tuesday. Uh, no computer model has shown this exact scenario from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. In fact, reading their prognostics and their forecast reasoning, uh, the, the philosophy regarding this forecast is that it is positioned between the consensus, the, the, between the two uh, different scenarios, the scenarios that I've outlined a little earlier in the video, uh, if you remember one of them taking north and the other taking westward. So the Joint Different Warning Center taking the middle track here and pretty much putting Hagupit towards uh, parts of southern and central Luzon as you move into early parts of next week. And as you can see here, they, have, they still have a pretty big cone of error and the Joint Different Warning Center has said that they have still low confidence regarding the forecast track unfortunately uh, despite the uh, despite the uh, closeness of the typhoon towards the islands of the Philippines and that concludes our video update for this afternoon unfortunately there really hasn't been any changes regarding the uh, eventual track we are still seeing some variations and really can't say what the final track will be uh, until we see more of agreement between the computer models. But as of right now, uh, the government, uh, especially in the Philippines, has uh, has uh, started to uh, evacuate residents, especially out here in the islands of eastern Visayas, Pagasa, started putting up public storm warning signals. Again, in preparation of this, uh, of this typhoon, we are hoping for the best, but definitely preparing for the worst case scenario, and that is the system moving into the islands as you move into Saturday and into Sunday. Uh, if you live in these areas, uh, again, please consult the official warnings and always heed the uh, the instructions from your local officials, especially if you are in storm prone areas and need to be evacuated as soon as possible. And as always, uh, uh, continue to get updated through our website, westernpacificweather.com and also on our blog, and we'll continue to put up uh, timely updates uh, over the next uh, few days. And uh, we'll see you on our next one, and um, stay safe.